new FIFA 17 skill squad builder on my channel and in today's video guys I'm going to be showing you this 25k Brazilian skill squad so if you enjoy, do enjoy this video guys and want to see another skill squad builder on my channel within the next few weeks don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel so the formation I decided to go with was the 4-3-3 for variation this has been my favourite formation for the past few years now I think like since FIFA 15 you know just because of the amount of skillers and it's actually pretty good you know competitively as well so uh, in goal we start with Diego Alves you know he's just a very cheap overpowered goalkeeper and the best Brazilian goalkeeper in the game in my opinion. Moving over to the right back position we have Mariano. The main reason I went with him was because he has the three star skill moves and what's very helpful to have for a defender and if you couldn't guess already this team was all about attack. I didn't really bother that much about defence that's why I got me very attacking uh, wing backs as you'll see later on. So the next centre back we do have is Miranda. I decided to go with his SBC card just because I already had it in my club but you can just go and pick up his normal card and I think it's like five or six thousand coins. Then his partner in crime is Ronaldo, and these two are such a good centre back pairing. You know, really fast, really tall, and really strong. You know, that's all you really need in a defender. Moving over to the left back position, we have that left back there. He has four star skill moves. Not the best defensively, um, as I've already said. You know, this team is more about attack than defence, but he's actually a pretty decent player overall. And I don't actually think he managed to score me any goals, but you know, he's pretty good. You know, linking up play. Then the next player we do have midfielder out of the two. You know, has really good long shots, insane free kicks. One of the best free kick takers I've tried on this game. And then on the left centre mid position, we do have Rafinha, who is actually Thiago's brother, if you don't know already. Um, has four star skill moves. Didn't really play that well, to be honest. But um, yeah, I couldn't really find anyone else who would be like really cheap and could fit that position. So the next player we do have is Giuliano, and this guy was by far the best player in the team. You know, he's actually very strong in game, even though he only has 72 physical on his face card. In game, he feels much stronger. Really good at dribbling, really good shooting, you know, he's just the definition of wing position. We do have Marlos, and this guy's actually a new 5-star skiller. A few weeks ago, EA released three new 5-star skillers, and he was one of them. Um, I'm not really that keen on him, to be honest. You know, he's a bit too small and not very strong for me. Moving over to the striker position we do with Gabriel Jesus, this guy's just so cheap, so overpowered and one of my favourite strikers on the game. Managed to get me 22 goals in 42 games again, but it's not too bad and he also got a few assists as well. Then moving over to the left mid position, this was Douglas Costa, um, doesn't have the best goal to game um, ratio as you can probably already tell, only 14 goals in 72 games, but in game he actually plays very well and I was very impressed. So yeah guys, this team will cost 25k, now let's get into the game highlights. So getting into the game highlights now, as you can see, the first goal we get here is with Giuliano doing a nice skill move there to a really nice running wacker wacker and finessing it past the goalkeeper into the net. So as you can see in the bottom right corner, I've designed a little thing, you know, rating the team on skill and kindness. So I gave it four star for, um, you know, skilling with, and then I gave it three star for competitive. So it's actually, you know, not bad for competitive, but not the best because, you know, it's more about attack and doesn't really have any defensive players. If you wanted to, you know, maybe improve this team so it's a more competitive, you could go with players such as maybe Mero instead of Rafinha or maybe Gustavo. But anyway, guys, getting back into the game highlights, we get a really nice goal here with Marlos. Do a nice ball roll to Hocus Pocus. Do a nice skill move there to heel to heel to a roulette and a really nice outside the foot finish there into the top left corner past the goalkeeper. And that shot was just unstoppable. So, um, yeah, guys, I'll definitely recommend to try this team out if you haven't already. You know, it's just so cheap, so enjoyable. And, you know, if you find him, FIFA, a bit, um, so yeah. So, again, the next goal we get here is with Douglas uh, Costa. Um, Pretty nice goal here. Probably could have been a completion goal if it didn't fail that ball roll to double touch exit there. But instead I just do some nice turn there and then smash it into the top left corner. And then the next goal we get here is a nice free kick there. Do some really nice short passing. Play it to Hernanez who uh, does the nice uh, black hop and then smashes it into the top left corner. And Anna's, you know, he's one of the most involved centre midfielders on the game and one of my favourite as well, just because, you know, he's really good at taking long shots, really good at skills as well because he has the four soft skill moves and a great free kick taker. Then the next goal we get here with Giuliano doing some really nice skill moves there. Do a nice spin past the defender there to the pilot skill move. Fell a few skill moves there but managed to get it back. Do a nice ball roll to Ronaldo chop and then pass the opponent's goalkeeper. And then, anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Can we try and smash 20 likes? Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time. Bye.